Good morning, everybody. One of the interesting things that we find in the Bible is that we are encouraged to pray no matter what the circumstances are. We're told to pray without ceasing. We're told to pray when times are good, when times are bad. We're told to pray if we're healthy or if we're sick. We're told to come to God, to bring all of our cares to God, all of our concerns to God, and to let him move in each one of those circumstances. One of the things that Jesus emphasizes is that it's sometimes easy for a person who's poor in spirit to experience the blessing of God, but it's difficult for a person who's wealthy to experience the blessing of God. And a lot of the motivation or reason behind that is that one person is likely to turn toward God and the other one is not. Listen, I hope that this day, what Joe Hill has to say to you will inspire you and encourage you to be a person of prayer no matter if things are good or bad. Here's what Joe has to say. Hi everyone, my name is Joe Hill. I'm here to share with you a little bit about my prayer life and some thoughts on prayer that I've had that I wanna be able to um, share with you guys during the 21 days of prayer. So in my morning Bible reading, I have been reading through Judges recently. And a theme seems to pop up when um, you read through Judges or even a lot of the various Old Testament scriptures is the Israelites will uh, be going through hard times, tribulations, slavery, um, occupation, uh, all kinds of things that make them um, remember their ways, remember what God has done for them and to pray to him, to uh, basically ask for uh, relief, for help. And a lot of times God would hear these and give them a blessing. And in Judges, it came in the form of a person, someone who would come and lead them out of uh, where they were and give them times of peace and prosperity. Um, the problem being is that whenever their judge, the person that got them there, would die, they would slip back to their old ways, a lot of times even worse than they were before. And that's something that I see paralleled with us today. Uh, right now we have a lot of things that could be listed as bad. Um, if there isn't this massive pandemic, there's social... Uh, problems, there's political problems, there's now school problems, there's a lot of things that we deal with. Um, and so you might be finding yourself turning toward God more, turning towards uh, fervent prayer, which is fantastic. Um, the thing that I want us to be able to think about and focus on is a level of constant prayer through every time. Um, a verse that I'm going to want to read to you guys right now is from Judges 2, chapter, uh, chapter 2, verse 16 through 19, and it says, Then the Lord raised up judges, who saved them out of the hands of these raiders. Yet they would not listen to their judges, but prostituted themselves to other gods and worshipped them. Unlike their fathers, they quickly turned from the way in which their fathers had walked, the way of obedience to the Lord's commands. Whatever the Lord raised up a judge, whenever the Lord raised up a judge for them, he was with the judge and saved them out of the hands of their enemies as long as the judge lived. For the Lord had compassion on them who on them as they groaned under those who oppressed and afflicted them. But when the judge died, the people returned to the ways even more corrupt than those of their fathers following other gods and serving and worshiping them. They refused to give up their evil practices and stubborn ways. And so when I read that, um, it really conflicts with me, uh, makes me think about how a lot of times when I've had rough things happen with my family or with my wife or things like that, um, praying to God is usually one of my first thoughts that come to my mind. I want to be able to express how I am lost and need wisdom or um, what to do next and just comfort in that. The problem is that I know that a lot of us would have is that when those things get fixed or we've moved on from whatever was causing us such pain, a lot of times we forget that God is also given us times of thankfulness. 
um, me and Megan have sort of a saying that we bring up when we have these kind of problems is that things are done for us, not to us. And so I would like and encourage every one of you all to, um, in times of hardships as we have right now, uh, to definitely be praying praying for those who maybe don't know the Lord, don't know the comfort that we can seek at any given time, but also to um, be praying for themselves and praying for just the world's problems that we have going on. But these times will pass. We will get to happier times. Um, God doesn't give us more than we can handle. And so I would like to also encourage you that when you're feeling blessed and you're seeing the sun is out and you're just thankful for all the things that the Lord has given you, remember where they came from. They're from the Lord. He's given us blessings too numerous to count. And so uh, on this day, this morning, whenever you happen to be watching this video, um, I want you to sort of just make a reminder somehow to pray constantly. Never let your circumstances dictate the amount of prayer that you have. We should be praying the same amount as um, in times of peace and in times of tribulation. Um, it's a great day today. It can always be a great day because God's with us. And thanks for listening. Bye. Joe, I want to thank you for bringing that message to us today. The book of Judges is always a book that challenges us and helps us to realize that, man, it doesn't matter how much God does for us, we are all tempted, we are all likely to head back to our own independent way of living. Let's be people who rely on God when times are good and when times are hard. Whatever you're going through today, let me encourage you to spend some time in prayer and to remember that the people around you also could use some prayer. Let's pray together now. Lord God, we ask that you would make us today into people who bring blessing to others. We ask that you would work in our lives today to help us be people who receive your blessing and give your blessing to others, no matter what we're going through. And we pray, God, that you would be at work in our hearts to make our first response returning to you, our first response coming to you whether times are good or times are bad. Never let us forget that we are who we are because of you, and that when we are struggling, you're the one who gives us strength, and when we're not struggling, it's because of your grace on our lives. Lord, would you go with us today? Help us to be a blessing to those we encounter, and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Turn to God today, whether times are good or bad, and be a blessing wherever you go. God bless you.